Hey guys, I'm Sino. I'm here with Absentis casting this uh, number game in um, the Reddit Team League between Team Zerg and Team Dolphin Lord. So Zucara Cox spawning as the Yellow Protoss at the seven o'clock, um, part of Team Dolphin Lords, and his opponent Chompy, a StarCraft Reddit Open winner, I believe, three times or something like that, uh, spawning as the Orange Zerg at the one thirty, representing Team Zerg. Yeah, and uh, not unsurprisingly, uh, Chompy is on Team Zerg, so uh, we'll have to see how well they can do this round. As we mentioned earlier, Dolphin Lords are undefeated. They have won every single match this game, because uh, as you described it, their entire team is filled with ace players, and one of their players is Zook Haircox, uh, who's done well in the SC Red Opens, and who's gone several... Uh, 10 game winning streaks in uh, the Diamond King of the Hill events that we hold on uh, Sundays and a few other days uh, everything normal so far uh, he is choosing to build up at his ramp uh, the kind of forward choke uh, using cannons is pretty much obsolete now uh, given the roach buff and oh Ooh. a nice round wow. on uh, Zuccarecock's probe which we saw Oh, Chompy is just an incredible player. I need to just mention that. Um, a lot of his micro, his unit positioning is just fantastic, and it's really enjoyable to watch if you are a Zerg player and you enjoy Banelings is the most spectacular thing I can think of when I think of uh, Chompy's play. So uh, definitely check him out on the StarCraft Red Opens that we hold on Saturday. Uh, I also want to mention that this is sponsored by the Internet Movie Firearms Database. They offered us $125 for our prize pool, and that's imfdb.org. Yeah, Chompy is... Yeah, he's superb. Uh, he, he, as a player, I would describe him as, as enigmatic. I never really know what kind of build he's going to do. Always mixes things up, always does new stuff, and I think that's just one of the hallmarks of being a really good player. He did get that uh, expansion first before his pool, uh, so looking for uh, good economy. I believe uh, recently he's been saying that he he almost exclusively fast expands uh, in all his matchups, regardless of what matchup it is. He just gets that hatch first. Uh, he's stolen the gas of Zucarecox, going to slow down that tech a little bit. And Jokercox has formed a nice wall off at the ramp using his gateway and his cybernetics core. Uh, so nothing proxied and nothing unusual. So, yeah. Looking uh, good. Looking Chompy good. taking this Zerg expansion, it's a sign of a really, really solid player. A player that's confident that he can hold this. So, um, I recently did an interview with Psy, which would actually be up like a day before this it goes to YouTube, but, uh, yeah, he also mentioned that he's pretty much exclusively fast expanding against actually everybody that's not Zerg. So it's just a very signature move of those higher level players. Yeah, I'm really glad that uh, the changes that have been made, uh, the kind of nurse, if you will, are really helping out Zerg. Because um, I like, you know, games that go longer. Um, Zook Haircox throwing down two more gateways, which is going to give him three gateways. Uh, he might tech up, might throw down a fourth gateway. We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, he's going to get his second gas back pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, getting that right away, so might be looking for some tech. And uh, right now, Chompy going straight for lair tech. Uh, I don't even think he researched speed. Nope. Uh, spent his first gas on that lair. Yeah, and he's also getting a roach horn, so this is also something that Chompy's done really, really well with. Roach drops. He's done a lot of roach play uh, in the most recent StarCraft Red Open, and I don't really want to uh, keep fawning over that because a lot of you guys probably haven't seen it, and I don't even think the VODs are up yet, so you can't really check on that. But Chompy has used roaches a lot in the past, well, a lot recently anyway, and he likes to go pretty much fully upgraded roaches and then just see what he can do with them. That's really being really a really responsible player is scouting out that single zerling around out and about. Um, also covering ground with his overlords and positioning them well so he can keep track of his opponent's uh, movements. And he's got those two spine crawlers down uh, which can really help a lot with any kind of early game aggression. Uh, something that's almost I mean you have to uh, 
get out spine crawlers to to hold a, a fast expansion as Zerg. Um, Zoo Caracox rallying troops. Uh, looks like he's gonna be uh, setting up at the watchtower or going into attack. Yeah, and Chompy doesn't have too much to defend with this. I actually think uh, a bunch of roaches just popped out, so we might be okay against this. This force is getting kind of uh, big for Zucaricox. Um I wouldn't really feel comfortable pushing forward with this myself because he doesn't have a forward pylon setup, but it looks like he's actually going to be able to snipe those wings and maybe take down, yeah, get one of the roaches. Looks like two of the roaches, yeah, and Chompy now has to retreat. Yeah, a really nice force field catching up and allowing him to take out some forces, but retreating to the safety of the spines is now going to force Zucaricox to go to the back rocks. Uh, Chompy, of course, can see this. He's got vision with that overlord, and uh, he's moving back his roaches. I th Nope. Uh, he is now, yeah, moving back his roaches and a spine crawler. Um, also making a really nice creep highway uh, for easy movement back and forth, and that's one of the issues when you're being aggressive. Uh, you're forcing your opponent to uh, defend at two locations. So Chompy's setting himself up very well. He's getting nine roaches now, and here comes Zucaricox. Yeah, moving in with his pretty solid force. Looks like Chompy should be able to defend this really, really easily. He has plenty of roaches. He should be able to just um, overpower them, especially on that creep. And Zucaricox knows this. He is going to be forced to retreat. We do see him taking his expansion in the meantime and also getting up a rubble facility. Yeah, this is something I noticed that... Uh, two. Two rubble facilities. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I noticed that Zucaricox wanted to expand a lot earlier, but a single Zergling managed to delay that Nexus by quite a bit, so uh, Zucaricox pushed out, um, didn't you know, full-on engage, uh, but did buy himself time to get up that Expo, and uh, like you said earlier, Chompy kind of going for uh, really upgraded Roaches. We've got Tunneling Claws now. Uh, I don't 